how to add product options on Shopify hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today I'm going to show you how you can add some options to your product or your current product or your new your product on Shopify store what I mean by products for example when you go to this product you have no options to add for example I want to add a variation for this um, sweater for example a white sweater a red sweater a blue sweater I don't have the option set up right here but when I use an integration or an app called global I can add the uh, options right here for example I can add on a print on demand text for example like this on this uh, sweater for example happy birthday I can add a lot of options I will show you in uh, a bit the options that we are going to uh, get uh, the first thing that you have to do is to make sure that uh, your store is working and has a live appearance on the web uh, the second uh, uh, step is to go to the search bar and you have to write global like this global and search it in the app store of Shopify it will show up like this and this is global product option or variant that we need this is the official logo of the app we will click on the app then we will click install it will guide us to the uh, page I will uh, uh, this close this window I don't need it it will be demanding the authorization to be installed I will go and install it then it will be showing up right here all you have to do is to pin this app because you need it later you can pin it right here this is the uh, global uh, pricing or the dashboard you can go with the free plan the premium plan or the pro plan I will continue as a free it is mentioned on the bottom of the page here you have uh, option sets we have not set any option yet because we have just installed the app basically you have to click on create option set this is the uh, elements or the template that you want this is the previewer of the options that you will get for example let's go here with the elements uh, let's add a element for example or select a template if you have uh, already a template it will be shown like this but in this case we will go and add a element you can see you can add a single input choice list static text swatch others now there are some free uh, features or options that you can add in the free version and there are some paid features which is this like phone email hidden field date date time file upload color pick and a lot of options that are used on the paid uh, options or the paid plan for example let's uh, put for a text area or a text option like this let's go and select this text label uh, you can uh, as I can see you can upgrade the plan to use this feature so nothing in, in these days are used for free it's okay I will show you just the demonstration you can add a di on a this product uh, label you can put the label for example uh, what uh, do you want for example or for example let's change the label to uh, do you want a design like this or name for example name name a character that you want to see on the hoodie for example like this this is uh, the text box they will fill and uh, now uh, add-on product it is supposed to be an add-on product so you will have to make customers pay for the add-on this is a required field you can put it as a required field you can um, hide the uh, get the uh, advanced advanced options 
uh, this is a advanced add-on option you can uh, fix the quantity you can use whatever you want you can see a placeholder help text and a lot of option for example I have added this text box I have to click on save this is uh, the uh, manual for example set product now I will go with all the product for example uh, let's say that we have a store that uh, sells hoodies I will go with all this I have to save this product now I will go back to the element I can modify this or I can add another element such as for a text area like this you can click on it and then for example go with a text area another text area this is a bigger box you can customize it and you have a lot of choices uh, just, uh, just such as you have a lot of choices such as a phone email hidden field and a lot let's go for example and add a checkbox or not not a checkbox let's delete it I don't want a checkbox uh, this is a not what I want to do I will here write for example not a checkbox let's go with a radio color swatch the color swatch here is the uh, color uh, swatch that we will get the option to choose a color this is the option number one for example it is called the white one we can add another option which is a for example red hoodie like this and we can add another option which is the blue hoodie or the purple hoodie like this another option with the black hoodie this is the black hoodie and you can put the uh, the price of each one or add it as not an add-on uh, just a standard option now this is a required field for example you can put it or let it as it is uh, let's go back for example with the color swatch let's put for example uh, available uh, colors like this and uh, this is the uh, value that we want or the uh, continue or the uh, this is uh, what we want for example for available colors we can add another element such as button we can add a button like this we can customize this button we can add a lot of options uh, for example you can make it a let's see let's make for example the sizes like here uh, um, the s and we will name it not button sizes like this sizes or size like this now we can put for example here m medium the l for large the XL for the extra large and we are good to go this is the size section now for the uh, for example uh, image swatch you can add a uh, image swatch you can add a uh, a heading or a divider for example you can add a divider like this this is the divider that we have added like here we can add another divider for example add uh, this divider between I will go drag and drop drag and drop this divider like this like this and everything that I want I can remove the element uh, just by uh, clicking on the element then we can click on remove this element it is a very simple uh, that was very self-explanatory and very good you can preview at the end of the modification the store or the uh, product that you've made with the options this is the product here and uh, the options are supposed to be right here it is a problem with a the integration I will go with it uh, later now I have 
set the uh, the app all right this you can import the or create option set now let's discuss the problem why the uh, options didn't show up uh, for the first case you have to go on the global app or the global integration to the settings uh, or the theme setup here you will see the app embed uh, and uh, select the uh, theme that you are choosing for example this is the uh, live theme it was uh, it was uh, the sense theme uh, it was selected right here but i was working with the thou the down theme so it is obvious that it will not work the second uh, option or the second problem was the theme itself for example this is the down uh, theme you click on customize then you go to the uh, app embeds then you will see that global uh, for example in my case was not activated and for example it will not be activated because it was not selected for the down theme so you will have to select the theme the current theme that you have and then you can activate it then you can save everything so now let's go and see the products that we have made or the options that we have made let's go with this one for example let's see uh, let's see it or uh, let's go with it we have added a color swatch and a text box let's preview it on uh, the items let's go directly to our website then we can uh, see the products for example or we can uh, go uh, to the website like this it is taking so so long we will see if we have the option and uh, this is the uh, color swatch and the text bot, uh, box that we were talking about this is uh, on the theme editor uh, and they will be live for the um, the preview and uh, the website since i have a problem with my website but i assure you that you will see the powered by global option app uh, shown like 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 this uh, from the text box the color swatch and everything that you have this is the uh, dynamic checkout button and everything is in order that was uh, all for today's video thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one